Hello, hello, and welcome, one and all, wonderful, amazing video game type people, to Avernum 2 Crystal Souls. Now then, when last we left off, we had just finished destroying the evil wizard slith thing. So, now we have the fun chore of going through and looting everything and picking things up. Cleaning house, as it were. This building has been abandoned for many years. It looks ready to collapse in on itself at any moment. We're gonna get hurt, aren't we? Ooh. There you go. Are we gonna get hurt? If I... If I walk around in it enough? Alas, we tried. Mm -hmm. Right, we've already looked here. Oh, oops. We left the leather bracers. Okay. Whoa! Three slits. Pretty much dominated that one. Oh. oh. There we go. Oops. That might cost us. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, good. Yeah, that would have been his death. Or his unconsciousness, so we lucked out there pretty nicely. Alright. Now, why did we bust in here? Surely there must have been something useful. The crude javelins? Hmm. I'm a little bit bummed that I don't have any, uh, any throwers in the group, either. Would it... Who would be the thrower? It would be her, wouldn't it? Hmm. I see. I see. Okay. There's really nothing. Just... Well, the experience wasn't bad. What's in here? Oh, that's pleasant. Whoa. Why? Why do you have a cloak? You could have a fine cloak. Hello. Who's this? Okay. Ah, somebody to rescue. Have you anything? No, just a dirty poop bucket. There's an unarmed slith sitting in this narrow cell. His scales are pale and lack the normal glossy sheen. He looks up at you nervously. When he realizes that he isn't about to die, he says, I am a Kasa soldier, prisoner. Of the servants of Sts. Rescuer, I hope. Why are you locked up? The foul slits here imprisoned me. I can now escape if you do not kill me. Who were the slits here? These were renegade slits, part of the army of foul Sths. When Sths was slain and his castle destroyed, most of his servants sued for peace. We do not all hate humans. But then, some of them fled to keep killing and fighting. They caught me. They were going to sacrifice me. Sacrifice? For what? I was to be sacrificed to Sithis, the foul warlord the humans have slain. We Siths, we Sliths, Sith, oh good, we Sliths are a people of justice, and he received his as will all. Most Sliths are peaceful? We are not usually a warring people. We do not all hate humans. Many of us are friends to you. Not these slits, though. They should die. Death is a severe penalty. I know it. They're but brigands now. Death would be the only appropriate justice. Hmm. I think we, we talked about who Sithis is. 
How was he so? Oh, yes, the warlord, the barbarian, the dead one. He mastered the tribes around here, led them to war against humans. How was Sithis slain? Sithis led his servants from a castle on an island. Brave Avernite raiders killed him. Now some of his servants worship him as a god. He hisses angrily. Slith gods are firm and just. He could never be one. Tell me more about those raiders. Great humans, great heroes. They are revered by all the Sliths in the land of Urnum. We know not what happened to them, but we remember them always. Wait, so the Sliths are happy? Because yeah, this is the first game, obviously. A Vernum escape from the pit. And you have to kill Sithis, of course. And so that's weird. You know, that the, sl uh, the Sliths actually like that. Oh well. You can escape now. I will not harm you. It stands slowly and bows to you. Now that my gods are dead, I will get away. Back to my family and brood. Were it not for you, I could be sacrificed. Again, I thank you. Well, that's a woohoo! That was a lot of experience there. So that's that's quite exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess there really isn't anything else, is there? You turn the wheel. Anything? Anything at all? No! Well then. We have nothing left to do but to return victorious to Formello. Oh, oh no! Where's that? Where's that thing? Get in the boat, lad. a uh, destroy slith outpost. <sighs> Mayor Amtar, your inevitable victory. Oh, thank you. Thanks. We'll just uh, go around. <laughs> Hello, Mayor Amtar. You can tell... <laughs> That's awesome. Your reputation has improved too. You tell Mayor Amtar about your victory over the sliths. You have lived up to your reputation. I will make sure the castle hears of this. Also, you deserve a bounty. A fine shield is brought to you. Well, what? What is this? A treated carapace? This must be the thing. But what? Mm hmm? Plus 20% to poison resistance. Well, that's not bad, but less armor is a problem. Anyways, I shall keep it for now. Also, there's the question of the shielding knife. Yes. So we're gonna... Yeah. Yeah, okay, the shielding knife. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass the shielding knife over hither. And notice that while the shielding knife will make my character sad and not very offensive, um, the plus five percent chance to parry should be nice. So right, we got the plus five, the plus twelve. Got some evasion luck. Ah. Anyways, we'll see if if that actually betters things. I'm just curious. I want to test that out. Yeah. <laughs> There's really not much left to do, is there? It may be time. It may very well be time. The Dark Altar. Yes, yes. Ritual of Sanctification. Father Caius. Got it, got it. What, uh... What do you need from me for that? Need a priest spell skill of 11. Oh. Okay. Well, then I suppose I shall... Increase the... Oof. Goodness, I don't know. I would love to actually do some thrown missiles. Uh, 
get that. Uh, but it, I don't think it would actually help that much, would it? Right? Like, also makes more battle disciplines. Increases both damage done and your chance to hit. 1% per level. So the hit chance would be awful. It would need to be dexterity going way, way up. But I doubt that would actually happen. Hmm. It's very interesting. Okay, well, let's keep boosting that intelligence. And get that priest spells up to 11. Okay. And I suppose cave lore. Um, sounds useful. But so too does... You know, I could... Uh, Something like that. No, I... I don't know if I like that. It won't do much. But it would be interesting. Anyways, okay. Good health. Negotiator. Quick learning. Fast recovery. You can also get over the flu very quickly. Oh, thank you. Increases your luck by one. That doesn't sound awful. I'm curious, why can you not get parry mastery? You must have at least two points in melee weapons or pull weapons. Oh, okay, so the other ones should be able to get melee, uh, parry mastery. I don't think sword mage is necessary for Laura. Um, fast forward, quick learning. No, blessing focus maybe? I don't know if that's a healing focus is probably what we want, or the improved. Uh-huh. Two points in both. We could actually go for that and improve dexterity. See if that does anything. It probably won't, but it will. Improving her dexterity would make her a little bit harder to hit. So that's not awful. Um, good health will be inevitably useful for a little bit. Hmm. Increases the effect of your healing spells by 3%. I can't help thinking that that would be actually be useful. Whoa, two traits. That's terrifying. So, healing focus three. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Increases the level of summoned creatures by two. Now, that, that counts for the, uh, obviously, for the shade. So, give us some, uh, you know. That would be pretty wicked. Whoa. Each level increases the level of summoned creatures by two, so it'll be four levels up for our our shade. Which maybe I will do. Let's test that out. Four levels for the shade. One for the priest. Here, what's the where'd the other point go? Oh, we still have to spend it. Mm, I want to do it into throne missiles because I'm crazy like that. No, nah, that seems ridiculous. Let's drop it into cave lore. Yeah. Okay. We're going to need a little cave lore anyways. So, that works. With this one, just keep pumping up that intelligence. Uh-huh. Boost that. Yeah, really, there's, there's no reason not to just keep boosting those. Um, oh, we've got Sword Mage. Who knew? Who knew? Okay. Elemental Focus, yes. Um, energy Blessing. All of these seem undoubtedly great. Hmm. Each level increases the effect of your elemental damage spells by 3%. Yeah. We go for that. Okay. Now here can clearly keep boosting that strength. Uh-huh. Get that pull weapon skill up. And, you know, a little bit of hardiness or a little bit of blade master, anything would be great. Hardiness, maybe. Okay. Got parry mastery, mighty blows. I love the idea of, of just getting that mighty blows up because he already does so much damage, right? So any bonus to that is, is going to be helpful. Hmm. Okay. And then with this fellow, 
Same idea, I suppose. Need that. And... Uh, clearly we can't add to that, but we're gonna have to get back to increasing the melee weapon skill. Hmm. And hardiness, I suppose. And that's great, armor 70%. Now we can, there we go, we can finally add on to parry mastery. So that's very exciting. Ambidextrous, increases your chance to hit and damage when wielding two weapons by 3%. Using two blades at the same time is your true talent. Others are clumsy when dual wielding, not you. Ooh. That is awfully tempting. That is, it's, it is, right? Like... If I eventually, it's just one three percent increase, though. So we're gonna have to, you know. But we're only level ten, so we've got many more levels ahead of us, and there's nothing to say stop us from from getting, you know. Ah, uh, you know, there's there's nothing to to stop us from going one two one two one two over the next what ten levels, and then we've got a decent dual wielder, because certainly his, his parry and hardiness are quite high, but even then if we, I mean, it, it's going to be slow, slow and painful, but might as well, might as well just in case we come to that point, yeah, hmm. I'm very excited, with parry, so he's got the parry mastery, which is an extra 3%. You know, he's got that beautiful 5, so that's 15, so that's 18%. Okay, and then we come and we look at him, and we've got the 18% plus the 12%, that's 30%. Right, that's already, that's, that's incredible. 30% to parry. And, I mean, we look at that, that's 35%. I think that might be it, but hey, you know, 35% to parry is just beautiful. That is, that is insane. All right. Oh, and now we can definitely do the uh, sanctification ritual. And get rewarded for that. So. Oh, you will die now. And even with the shielding dagger. Works great. Everybody just hang out back here. Nice. Can't believe she didn't have a good cloak. That was very disappointing. I've been throwing away so many fine cloaks. Yep. I'm really just testing out the beautiful parry skill. Obviously it's not perfect because these guys are really weak so it doesn't matter, but the frequency of parry I don't think is going to change, right? And that's going to make a big difference when it comes to actual strong opponents. So that's kind of awesome. Oh, wrong way. Go back, go back. I remember in the original game the sanctification ritual was relatively... Like, it was easy, it didn't require a whack ton of pre-spell levels, but the trouble with it... Leave. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, okay, so the, the, the trouble with... Uh, the trouble with it back in the original game, in Exile 2, 
um, was was that it required a lot of spell points. You know, spell energy did not go quite so high. I mean, unless you put points into spell energy, it wouldn't go up. So you had to work hard because it cost 50 spell points, if I remember correctly. You know, and that's that's no joke. So there we go. Yeah, and it still costs energy. Cost 50, right? That's the the standard. Who perform the ritual carefully, aware of the possible deadly consequences of messing it up. As you chant, the altar begins to vibrate. Flickers of red and purple are visible under the surface of the stone. The air fills with the choking reek of decay. You finally finish the ritual, drained of energy. You look at the altar. At first, it appears unchanged. Then you see that many hairline cracks have appeared along its surface. Then the altar collapses into a mound of rubble. You no longer feel cold or ill. The stones are still there, but the malevolent power is gone. Whoa! Wicked! Do we do we get anything for that? Wow, that's cool. Okay, so let's get out of here. Oh, not what? Oh, random nephil warrior. Nope. Bye. Now I am curious. Does that also apply to the Slith Fort? The you know the sanctification ritual. It might not. In fact, it probably doesn't. There right, we go. Come reward me, Caius. Ooh. A basilisk fang wand and a wisdom crystal. You tell Father Caius that the dark altar has been destroyed. He nods gravely. A bold stroke. That thing was an abomination. I will make sure people hear of your bold act. You also receive a wand and a lovely shield. Okay. How are we doing for reputation? Somewhat liked. That's great. What did I get? What did I get? A basilisk fang wand. That's amazing. Six charges of basilisk gaze in a cone. That is wow. Excuse me. And of course, wisdom crystal. Always amazing. So that is that is all great stuff. Ooh. Bum 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 bum. Man, with that seventy percent armor and the high parry, I'm really liking Aiden. As far as a shield bearer type person. Okay. Hang on a second here. Okay. So. So. Here's the thing. I want to get the troops ready and head down. Um, yeah, are we all, we're all level 10? Yeah. And we've got even a bunch of experience on top of that. Great. I don't think there's anything really left for us to do here. Yeah. Right? pretty much done. Let's look at leather crafting. What what options have we? Was it Townsend? I think it was. Ooh. A leather jerkin. A leather shield. Okay. Two leather, two crystals, and 300 coins. Right, let's go for the leather jerkin. Why don't we actually, yeah, we'll do the quick save thing and figure out what these are. Townsend takes the money and the materials, then he shoes you out of his workshop. La -da -da. Great, comes back. I don't need nothing. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. What did you make me? Whoa, there it is. The hoo -hoo -hoo, plus one to action points. The mercuric leather. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. That, obviously, mixed with another thing, would be useful for the mage, probably. Not gonna lie, yeah, the mage is the one who would best use it. Um, what have we on the... Is it, is it a 9 or an 8 kind of vibe? Well, might as well test it out. Put on the mercuric leather mage, man. Hmm. What's this? The grounded cloak. Instead of a fine cloak, really? Wow. What, why are we so dumb with the cloaks? Bronze bracers. Oh no, the Drake hide gloves are going to stay. The slith spear. Oh, that's one that we don't need. Right, higher crit chance. That's what it was. Not bad, not bad. Girdle of strength. That's actually pretty awful. Hmm. Black basalt. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just make some space all up in here. 
I don't think we need the map anymore. But that's okay. There we go. The woven gold band, which gives us plus two to dual wielding. So we're going to keep that. Absolutely. But the blessed belt is good for now. Iron gauntlets versus iron bracers? No. No, thank you. You got iron bracers? Oh yeah, okay then. Perfect. Everybody keep the iron bracers. The iron gauntlets could very well come over here. Yeah. Yeah, we should armor her up a bit too, as long as she's got the strength for it. And it looks like she does. Belt, armor plus two percent. So throw the studded belt her way. There we go. That means we don't really need any of these things anymore. Right, so I'm just throwing them all into the, uh, you know. Oh, she doesn't have a weapon now. Oh, that's miserable. Okay. Take the goblin cleaver. For some reason, I don't know why. Makes no real difference for her. Um, the nimble sandals. That's a fair point. The nimble sandals might not be awful. Hmm. Fine clothes can be gotten rid of. The bronze bracers are probably safe to get rid of, along with the slith spear. We're going to want to use up that fiery wand. Hmm. Leather greaves. Oh, she's got the reflective pants. Okay. Scroll of domination. Who's got another? Oh, buddy. Right, all these spears. We've got a lava fired spear, which is good. The steel spear and the iron spear, I don't think we really need. They're very basic. So we can sell those. Uh, the thick leather gloves. Yeah, sell that. Great. Keep the towel. Goodness sake, they need a towel. <laughs> uh, see, they got a couple towels. That's nice. Alright. The iron shield. Honestly, probably not. Probably don't need it. We've got a steel shield. Nobody else really uses this sh shield. You're going to keep the shield of sucker over there for whatever reason. So. Okay. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. Another studded belt. I don't think... The only person who might want is... Is this... What's his name again? Zess. Right, Zess and Horum. Okay, the thick leather gloves. Again, you can get rid of that. Slip spear, go ahead. Um... Iron short sword. Uh, steel short sword. I kind of want to keep those around. I'm not sure why. I don't know. I just like them. We can get rid of these leather items. We do not need them. That basilisk wand is insanely beautiful. I'm going to hold on to the broadsword just in case I want to uh, change things up, though I, I doubt I will. But just in case. Hmm. Treated carapace seems nice. Heavy boots! Yeah, whatever. Okay. Awkward, but good enough, I guess. Let's uh, sell some things. They come in here. Stop art. I want to sell you stuff. I want to sell you everything in my bag. So much stuff. Look at that. Look at. Oh yes, money. So right now we have three thousand six hundred sixty-two coins. Boom! We made almost two thousand. That's exciting. Thank you. Can you make a potion for me. Energy speed. No, I don't really need any potions. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. What do you have for me, Caius? What sort of services do you perform? Teach me some holy rituals before we go? No? Okay. 
We're pretty good. You could probably improve his minor heal. No one's going to get offended. Okay. Uh, what about chance? Okay, so we could get that luck training, but holy cow. That's a lot. What I am going to do is probably go get some uh, cave lore. Let's do that. That's a great idea. Holy cow. If I remember correctly, the cave lore was far cheaper. <laughs> we shall see. Well, Challenger seems to be working fine. Did you see how that guy just booked it over there to attack him? I wonder if maybe it's a percent chance. Oh, 206 damage. That's borderline insane. Very nice. Just parrying like a master. Wow. All right. Now, I am heading up to purchase a little bit of cave lore from this fellow. It's kind of the thought process going on here. Is that I should be able to walk in and say, Hey! Teach me! Uh-huh. Where do I get the teaching? Uh, need any help with it? No. Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. There we go. Cave lore. I'm not averse to learning one and one cave lore. So that we have like four cave lore, four or five. One, two. Ah, uh, yeah, I can improve it twice. So that's four. I guess we could do. We could go for five. Five cave lore. Sure. That's it though. Ugh. Okay. Five cave lore's got to be good enough. What does it look like? Does it just? Oh yeah, just straight up adds on. Okay. So we've gotten our cave lore up a bit, which would therefore imply that I could now maybe go to these places. There's one there, and there should be another one uh, somewhere here. Where was it? Who remembers? Where's the other cave lore spot? Uh, there. There, that's where we're going. We're gonna we're gonna try that first. We're here. Yes. No. I have no time for all these combats. You fools! You ignorant fools! We're all gonna die. Yep. Wow. Get it? Hey! You find a scroll of lightning. Useless. Okay. Now let's... Right. I think... We're gonna need a boat to get there? And I think the boat is here. Quickly! Quickly! I have places to go to, so I must end this let's play. Gently down the underground caves or streams or whatever. Whoa! Did that just happen? We got us a real fight, friends. We got us a real fight. Oof. That's fine. I'll dance. Jeez. What does Perry suddenly no longer work? Thank you. Okay, almost there. Go get it. 
Da. Yay, a fiery wand. Okay. So we have used our cave lore skills successfully now. Twice. So that's very exciting. Folks, I want to thank you for watching. And next time, I promise you, this time for real, we will descend into the depths, into the caverns far deep below Averdum, to find out who these crazy weird people are, these so-called Vanatai. So here we go. I'm gonna just come right there, right to this spot. This is it, folks. Next time we come back, we're doing it. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Avernum 2 Crystal Souls. Bye!